Well, fall time of the year is finally here and the weather finally changed. It's been a hot summer. This is just like the second week of October and the weather finally came down. But one thing I'm gonna do that's great in the fall is fishing with a crick hopper. I love using my little crick hopper here. I'm gonna start out with a green and brown one. If you've walked through any weeds or grass basically recently, you've probably seen crick, uh, crickets and grasshoppers jumping all over the place. Of course, that's what they do at the end of the summer. They're gathering things, I guess, or I don't know what they're doing, but they're always moving around as the fall is coming on. So it ought to be a perfect time to use the crick hopper. There's one. There's a bunch of them looking at it. Oh, it came off. I was reeling it in. They were looking at it and I let it pause and one struck it. You can, uh, oh, you can, you can throw it out there and just kind of pop it on top of the water. And um, I don't really like doing it. I like to hit the water, let it sit for like just a half a second and start cranking on it, just real slow, where it just barely goes under the water. It kind of makes the fish, if they're gonna hit it, hit it a little more aggressively. There's one. Let's see what we got. Come on, little guy. I've had so many little fish pecking at it, green sunfish. And a lot of times these guys right here, little, even littler than this, they'll just peck at it, peck at it. Sometimes they get hooked, sometimes they don't. But if a bigger one wants it, he's just gonna hit it. All right, little green sunfish, first victim. Oh, there's one. We have our first Kusa bass of the day. A little fat belly one. They like to hit this thing. So that one I cast it out and it was just on the retrieve. He hit it. A lot of times I'll cast it, retrieve it for a little, just kind of a slow crank, let it pause for a second and then keep on cranking. And um, that's a, oh, he just ate something. He's got something in his belly. I can feel it like some kind of, I don't know what he ate in there, but I can feel the shape of something in there. <laughs> oh yeah, that just guy came and he took it. No hesitation from that one. I was just, I don't even think it was spinning right. I was just twitching it on top of the water. He just came up and said, I want that. Kusa bass. That's what's fun about this little lure. That's the that's one of the, the most fun things about this lure is that the fisher when they see it fall in there they're just gonna hammer it a lot of times so that first cast into a spot is definitely the most important one make sure you try to take your time get a good cast on the first one oh that was a nice bass looked at it oh when you came and got it. <laughs> Man, there's a couple of them down there. Came out of that brush pile. That's a nice bass. I saw him come look at it and then he turned back. And then I think another one came and looked at it and then he just hammered it. Oh, nice little Kusa bass right there. Man, these guys are so aggressive. And these are meaty, meaty little fish. Oh. Come on, there we go. Kept hitting at it. Finally got hooked, it's probably a shiner. Yep, big shiner. Sometimes they will not hit these, sometimes they will just really hammer them. Hey, what's up, bro? There he is. Let him hook himself. They had picked at it a couple times, pecked at it, then I just let it float on top of the water and I saw something underneath it. A little red breast, just let him hook himself. You definitely don't set the hook on these, you kind of just let them hook themselves. If you jerk too hard, you jerk these little hooks out of their mouth. Oh. Oh, did I get him? What? Oh, I did have a fish. Hey, there we go. That counts. 
That dude is like the same size as my lure. That was tiny. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's a nice bass down there. A couple of them. I don't know if they're gonna hit. Sometimes bass in this creek just won't hit. There's something. Red breast. There's a couple bass right behind this. Oh, look at them. Look at those bass. Oh, there, there's a decent one. I think they're largemouth. There's, there's definitely largemouth in here and I've caught some good ones, but usually they're really hard to hit. I've cast this crick hopper bomb a few times and they haven't hit. But whenever this uh, red breast is coming in, they, they looked really aggressive. I'm just gonna change the color of the crick hopper just to see if it makes any difference. Oh, there's something. What is that? Oh, another red breast. Well, it caught me another fish changing this uh, crick hopper, but still ain't got those bass to bite. But sometimes those bass won't hit anything. All right, I got a little 2x, uh, little hybrid flipping two that I'm gonna have to try to use. The top part of this thing's solid, so I can just stick a little like a uh, Ned Rig jig head in there or something. All right, maybe those bass are hungry. They're still there, hanging out. Maybe this will get one of them to hit. It'll be fun to catch. Gotta be able to set the hook on these guys though. Yep, there's one. <laughs> they just needed something a little bit tastier. Or a little bit bigger, I think. Nice. Look, there's a one, two. They act like there's smallmouth in here where they're hanging out, but um, there's not a lot of water in this creek. That guy's got a bigger mouth and he's got a body. He took that two bex. All right, that's a nice little bass. I've caught bigger bass than that off Crick Hopper, but sometimes, man, this guy's kind of skinny. Sometimes they just won't hit it. I don't know what it is. There, we got it. <laughs> Susie cast it out there. Oh, it came out. There's one. I had to work with them for a little bit. We'll get you another one over here. Fuse a few different lures and they, they spit a couple of them out. Went with a Helgramite and a couple of them would look at it and not hit it. Finally, another one picked it up. So like the fish are in there. They, they've probably been caught a bunch of times, but they kind of know like, all right, something's going on here. But they look really hungry. No little chunky large mouth. Surprised they're not hitting the crick hopper though, but sometimes I will see them. I will catch bigger fish than this on crick hopper. Sometimes they won't hit it. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, got it stuck in a tree branch. Oh man, that's gonna happen a lot if you use these things. You're gonna get a lot of them stuck because they get stuck so easy and you're trying to cast them in a lot of times in tight cover. But they cost like five bucks a piece, so I uh, don't really want to lose any. If I can get it back, I will. Oh yes, it came back. All right, now I'm just gonna check my line. Some people would automatically retie, kind of lazy. And uh, I think we're fine. Come on, fish, where y'all at? Oh, wow, did you see that? I wasn't even paying attention. I looked away, I was looking at a bird, and it was just sitting on top of the water, and a bass just slammed it. And that is a chunker. That is a nice Kusa bass to catch, especially out of this creek, but out of anywhere. This guy, he just came up and hammered it. A little thick he is. And he was just sitting on top of the water. I wasn't even, I really wasn't even paying attention. And I just heard the splash and started reeling in. Okay, we'll put him back in there. That's a really fun little catch right there.
There he is. <laughs> oh man, he hit it twice. I saw him, I just kind of kept slowing it up, waiting on him. Came back and got it again. Red breast. Oh, there's a good one. Oh no, there's another big. What? Big. No, that's not what hit. Surely not. That can't be the fish that I felt on there. Little red breast. Long and skinny though. All right, my battery is about to die. It's time for me to go. Been here an hour and 38 minutes at the creek. So I ended up uh, breaking my lure at the end. I got stuck in a tree and jerked it back out. Snapped the bill off. A good thing I got extras. I love those little crick hoppers. Um, all the colors seem to work. I don't know if I know one that works better than the other. Uh, I would definitely suggest using a light or ultralight action rod. This is a six foot. I wouldn't go longer. If you're gonna do stuff like this where it's close quarters, five and a half, six foot long, you can get a lot better casts and you don't have to worry about hitting trees everywhere. Four pound mono is like my go-to for everything, but especially for the crick hoppers. You could probably use two or six pound if you wanted to. Doesn't work very well on eight pound. You can't cast it really good. And this is a PC Fin Viper uh, two reel and the Cast King Calamus rod. And I think the links are below on those, but I love the crick hopper, just a fun little lure. Um, catches a bunch of fish. I was in, went up the stream, came back in less than two hours and got all that in there. Sometimes it won't catch those bigger ones, but if, you, if that's what you're going for, it's not the lure for you. If you just want to have fun, catch different fish from the creek or a pond or whatever, it definitely is a fun one.